I'm going to go through a key activity that I do at work, which is run virtual mock interviewing sessions for various partners. Um, and using MS Teams, or you could use Zoom as well, I'll run through some of the key principles and the learnings um, from the past kind of three years that I've been running these. So number one is preparation, of course, seems obvious, right? Um, when you're signing up uh, attendees and volunteers, giving them the clear instructions around the format and how it's going to work is going to be uh, very valuable. And then, of course, they're well prepared and they know what they're, they're doing. Uh, number two, making sure the registration uh, links are set up. So in MS Teams, there's an event registration feature that you can use. Zoom is very similar as well. I've done a video uh, on how to use MS Teams as a kind of Eventbrite feature. Um, and it's an easy way to automate the process uh, of sign up. And then you'll get your ev event uh, attendee list in a, a dashboard. So that really helps with the process. Now, on the day, um, what you need to prep is a, in a, it could be an Excel sheet, that's what I, what I use, and I'll show you. Set up your rooms according to what, who you're going to match up for those. So you have a, a list that you can work off to build the rooms, and it's very important to keep you on track as well. So often um, people may not be able to make it, or there might be some no-shows, for whatever reason then at least you've got your schedule list on Excel to help you guide you. So when you're moving people around or rejigging the schedule, then you've got a, a guide. Um, if you haven't got that and you're just trying to go off it and do it on the fly, which I have done in the first couple of ones. Such a rookie mistake. <laughs> and I've learned the hard way uh, not to do it like that. Have a guidance sheet or you're going to be floundering, messing about in the beginning and then your mock interviews are starting like 15 minutes late uh, and then all the guests are in the main room staring at you and then you're working under pressure to fix the different issues uh, that, that you have. And another tip is have a co-host. So when people join, your host who can be do the speaking part will issue the instructions keep them warm, do a warm up exercise if they, if they want to. Um, they could be checking the attendance. And then whilst that's happening, you're building the rooms in the background. That will take away a lot of stress uh, from running these. Um, once you've opened the rooms, and before you open the rooms, make sure that you hit uh, the option for people to be able to come back into the main room. So this is for MS Teams specifically. Um, or if they click leave, then they're leaving the meeting altogether, then they have to rejoin uh, the first link. So that's a kind of a convenience thing and also stop you from losing people uh, as well. There's an announcements feature in MS Teams. Once the breakout rooms are open, you can uh, send instructions through that are relevant. And then at, what I do usually at the end is I'll give them a, a warning, a 10 minute warning, that we're gonna be wrap, wrapping up the final questions and feedback. I bring everyone back into the main room, do a recap and a reflection and I asked the attendees and, and also the volunteers how the process went, what was the key learnings. Uh, that's really important. Uh, and you can also follow up with a survey, add it there and then in the, the chat box if you could use Google Forms or MS uh, forms as well to collect that. When they disappear after the call, it's going to be trickier to get that feedback uh, on a form. Um, so do make sure you follow that step. So that was some quick tips, high level overview of how I run uh, online digital mock interviews. You can set it up for actual uh, interviews as well. Um, in that instance, make sure that you get your prep done and do a rehearsal, do a practice run, get the support that you need to run them from colleagues uh, as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please share with others so they can benefit. And thank you so much for watching.